We also talked, of course, about companies such as Apple and Amazon, which have a bit of a different approach. Apple is very intent on making sure that they keep their quality level extremely high. They're willing to add video content to their offerings, but they want to make sure it doesn't damage their, their extremely high quality brand. And so they'll continue to expand and invest, in my opinion, if they think it's enhancing uh, the quality uh, image that, that they try to purvey. The Amazon guys, I think, are more commercial. I think that, that they're still experimenting. They've, they've, they're trying sports, they're trying uh, content, they're trying ad-supported content. They've gone with Freeview uh, to see how many slices they can make in the bologna, you know? I mean, yeah. they're still, I think, trying to figure out the optimum role that they can play as a bundler, as, as a promoter. What are your expectations when it comes to ad supported? As you say, we're seeing Disney and Netflix just rolling it out now. You think it's going to be a success? I'm a little skeptical as how many people to save a few bucks are, are going to be willing to tolerate uh, ads in what I would call long form entertainment programming. I think to be successful in streaming, you're going to have to have your own funnel. You're not going to be able to spend a fortune on, on advertising and promotion to gain customers because the churn will kill you. So you've got to drive down uh, churn and the churn cost, I think, is going to be an important part of the equation. And, uh, you know, so if you have your own big funnel, if you're already present and can advertise or promote cheap, if you're already on platforms where it's a simple click to add something, I think that'll be an important ingredient in achieving profitability. But clearly there's gonna to have to be some consolidation. There's gonna to have to be some, some budgetary cutbacks on, on the level of spend. Uh, by streamers, and, uh, you know, it'll sort itself out. No question right. the public enjoys television this way. The real question is, uh, from, the, from the investor point of view, can it be done and supplied in a sustainable, profitable, and low-volatility way, or are people basically going to click on and click off, uh, and you can't afford the lifetime of it? of a subscriber may be pretty short in the investment in, achieve, in getting that customer uh, may not be amortizable. Yeah, well, I mean, John, this can't go on forever, as you say. I mean, Discovery is losing money on direct-to-consumer. My parent company, Comcast, is losing money on Peacock. Uh, it doesn't even have anywhere near the scale of, uh, of a Discovery Plus or HBO Max. Um, Disney is saying they'll be profitable and direct to consumer by fiscal year 24, but there are plenty of people who are not sure about that. And on and on from there. Um, I mean, this period of rationalization that you're talking about, are we in it now? A year from now, are you and I going to be having a very different conversation? Well, I think everybody I know is, is taking a hard look at their, their uh, content budgets going forward and trying to be uh, more targeted in terms of what audience they're after, uh, not try and, uh, and have everything for everybody, perhaps. So you might see some specialization that leads to profitability earlier for, for segments, for subsets. I, I you know, I'm, I'm a believer in an a la carte menu for the consumer, but I think if you're going to keep churn down, you have to bundle it would appear that Disney's approach is to in bundle internally. In other words, have three or four services streaming that you can combine and try and satisfy a broader uh, household. Uh, but all internally, there may be opportunities for streamers to bundle with other streamers, not co-own. Uh, and there really? may be... Yes, really? and then there may... I mean, I how does that work, John? A bundling, I just wonder, they, the, the level of cooperation needed to bundle independent streamers, not within the one companies you point out with Disney. 
That level of, of cooperation, do you really think you could ever see that? Because um, would each of them have to moderate their content spend or, you know, it would reduce churn? Well, I just wonder how that would work in your mind. It's been discussed, David, amongst various players. What do I have to add to my stream in order to stabilize it? 